Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that is trying to have a year-long no-buy. And today it's my third part in my would I buy it again. So if you don't know what this is, I have asked my boyfriend to pick out 10 palettes. I'm going to show you the palettes and say if I would buy them again if I didn't owe them or if I declare them or yeah, if I would buy it again. And I think I saw this first at uh, Betty Bean, but I've also seen uh, Annette's Makeup Corner and Angelica Lirmeyer do this, and I think it's fun. And I also want to try to talk more about the palettes in my collection. Because I'm having a no-buy, I know I have had it for like 10 months, but um, I just want to talk more about palettes, and I think it's really fun to do that. So these, this is like a mini review where I talk about the palettes, and yeah. I think I'm just going to scooch and we get started. It is actually so fun to ask my boyfriend like can you pick out 10 new palettes and he think it's so hard but yeah okay I will just start and first is the orange you glad. This is one of Colourpop's monochromatic small nine pan palettes and if you didn't know this about me like orange is one of my <laughs> absolute favorite when it comes to eyeshadows. But this, for some reason, has never been a favorite for me. I have never liked fell in love with this that much. I don't know if it is because I think it's a little bit muted and also uh, this is a pressed glitter and I don't like that. But I do think it is a cute palette, but I wouldn't actually buy it again. I do like my other monochromatic palettes better than this, not maybe all of them, but this isn't like the orange I wanted it to be. And I was a little bit surprised by that, but it's, I just, I wouldn't buy it again. Then I also picked out the Tinker Bitch palette from Colourpop and this is Sprinkle a Little Magic. I can never remember, I always want to call it a Tinker Bitch palette. And this palette did actually surprise me. I think that this color store is really really fun and I think it is when I thought when I heard they were coming out with the Tinker Bitch palette I was like this is not going to be fun but then this came and this I wouldn't I thought this was going to be cuter but it's kind of like dark and a little bit muted and I do really really like this this is one of the better Colourpop palettes, I think, and I really think that this color story is so fun, and it was such a big surprise, and it's no press glitter in this, thanks god, so this I would actually buy again. I think it is a really nice palette, and I think that Colourpop did a really good job. I have been disappointed in a lot of Colourpop collab palettes, but not this one, and I do hate. I know her name is Tinkerbell, but... If you ever have heard me talk about this palette, Tinkerbell is a bitch. The next one he took was the new Golden Twenties by LH Cosmetics and I did do a video where I talked about if I had to declare one palette from a brand and from LH Cosmetics it would actually be this one. And yeah, I wouldn't buy this again. It's nothing wrong with it. It is a good palette, but I think it's kind of boring. And this was one of the palettes, like, I bought it because it was half off. And... I want the LH Cosmetics palette, so... It's nothing wrong with the palette, but I wouldn't buy it again. And I think that this is one of the most boring palettes they have done, actually. I think, like, the mattes are too similar and the shimmers... It's not just a palette that I reach for like ever and I don't like the plastic packaging. If you didn't know this about me, I do love cardboard packaging. I think this is just annoying and I think it's, it feels so fragile. So no, I wouldn't buy this again and it's just a little bit annoying. Next up is the Dragon Child from Menagerie Cosmetics. and. I don't think that this is available anymore, but I think you can buy this as single. And if you have been on my channel for a while, 
you know that me and this palette wasn't like getting along at all. This was so, it was just so confusing for me. I did a free looks one palette a while back and I talked about this and I did a review and I didn't give it a good review, but then I took my revenge of the palette and I think it is a fun color story. I think it's a unique color story, but like the shadows, I can't work with them as I usually work with other shadows. Some of them are like really good. Like these red ones are good and this gray one. But like the others, I do struggle with them. So I actually wouldn't buy this again because I can't use my normal way to put on makeup. I think it's the purple ones. It was such a long time since I used this. Um, I think that this stone drake is darker than worm, worm, worm. And that like annoyed the crap out of me. One thing I don't like about palette is when it's not true to pan. And this is not true to pan. So no, I wouldn't repurchase this even though I think I think it's a cool palette. He also took out the feral palette from Menagerie as well. And this one, I was so stoked when this came. I think that this one and the Dragon Child was my first purchase from Menagerie. I know I set a timer and I was like, have saved them as favorites so I can put them in my shopping cart as fast as possible. And I did actually have the old one. Uh, then it wasn't, I think it was these two that were other colors. Uh, it was more neutral and like muted, which I did really like. Uh, I didn't have a problem and they got a lot of shit for this palette, like how it originally, how it looked from the beginning and I never got that. But yeah, I I do like this palette and it has special memories for me. But I think I actually wouldn't buy it again. I just don't like... I don't know, but... Like the color story. I'm not that thrilled about this color story anymore. Like when it's so many different... Yeah, I don't know. I actually think I wouldn't buy this again, even though I do really like it. But no. I wouldn't repurchase the Feral palette, and that I did not expect. A palette that I would definitely repurchase is the Moosebow palette. It wasn't that long ago since I did a video with this in my first Halloween week. This is the Lunar Beauty and Mo Lunar Beauty Moosebow palette, and this palette I do really, really, really like. I do miss some things in it, like some deeper dark matte shadows and also like a deep dark shimmer but this is a really good color story and uh, i think it's fun and i love the packaging i love like everything about the palette so yeah this one i would definitely repurchase and it, i'm always happy to play with this and it is such a fun palette to just take out do looks with and yeah I do really really like it then I took one of the Fuchsism palettes from Kaleidos. This is the Cyber Bronze and this palette. It has two amazing shimmers. This red one and this silver one. This is also good, but like these two are out of this world and a red shimmer is something special about it. And I actually think that I would repurchase this just because of those two shimmers the mattes are good i wish though for one of the shimmers to be more like of a reddish tone maybe this one or this one but yeah i would definitely repurchase this just because of the shimmer shadows and it was something special about shimmers when kaleidos came out with their first futurism palettes they are just amazing and i did really love this one and I do like it so yeah I would repurchase it. Then we have three palettes left and this palette I haven't used that much. This is the Venus 2 from Lime Crime and why I bought this one was because they sold out Lime Crime on Beauty Bay so I bought this one and I do think the color story is kind of fun. I don't like the packaging because I think it's like too bulky. 
But I do think the color story is fun and I don't even think that I've used all the shadows. I don't think I've used this one, which looks really, really good. But this is never padded like I reach for. I think it is, even though I like the color store, I think it's like, I don't know what this is doing here. And I am the mismatch with eyeshadows and even I don't like that. So I actually don't think that I would repurchase this one. No, I don't think it's like, it's special like as a whole palette but I think if you break it down like the bottom row this this isn't like super unique and if you take away that one and just like these three colors isn't super unique either so no I actually wouldn't repurchase this one then the last two palettes one is a collab palette and that is the giant wolves from Ona's Eye and and its makeup corner and this palette I would 100% repurchase. I have done a free looks one palette and I've done some other looks with this and I I love all the looks that I've done with this. I think my favorite shade from this palette is actually this one. This is such a cool duochrome. It's like, or is it the multichrome? I'm sorry, I never know this. But this is such a cool shade and if you do like a super big cut crease, it looks amazing because the shift is really showing. And it's such, such a cool shade. And I love that it's really deep shades out here. And I've tried two palettes from Ona Side, this one and Urd. And the formal of this one, it is something special with it. I think it's like two different formulas and I love this formula. I actually talked about the Urb palette in the first part of this thingy and I love this so much more and this is grungy, dark and it's really really good. I would definitely repurchase this one. And the last palette he picked out is one of Nabla's dreamy palette and this is the first first dreamy and but I can remember this was Nabla's first palette and I bought this kind of late just because I wanted all the, the palette from Nabla. I do like this palette but I think it's kind of dull in one way and I think there is not that many ways to go with it and maybe it is because it's like purpley purple pinkish undertone to it that makes me doesn't like it but it's nothing wrong with it i have done looks that i really like with this but this isn't like i wouldn't repurchase this one i don't think it's like that special that i would miss it if i didn't have it i do like it i think it's fun to play with it from time to time but it's nothing that i would like miss I don't think so at least, but like, you know, I'm never going to declutter an Obla palette. And yeah, that was actually all the 10 palettes for this time. I do hope that you like this video. I always think it's fun to talk more about palettes and I have used some of these palettes really, really much. Some of them not that much, but I think it's fun to talk about palettes and I think it's important to talk about older palettes as well because we all do have older palettes in our collection that may we maybe don't use because we want to use new palettes. So yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!